Jamel Charlo responds to Devin Haney possibly vacating his Ring Magazine belt after Ring Magazine, they violate. Find out what he said in just a few seconds. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. The best in the business. SLC, subscribe, like, and comment. So you guys see on the screen, Jamel Charlo, verified page of social media. He has responded to Dev... Devin the Dream Haney. Don't let no man discredit you for something you've worked your life to accomplish. Enjoy your straps. We know what it is. They opinion don't matter. Keep eating. Your reality is Hall of Fame. Can't take it away from you. One day your kids will enjoy what others can't. Lions only. Now, I thought this was a great response from a fellow undisputed and i love to see it two american two black american undisputed champions you know some of the best in their division if not the best right both undisputed and you know i like jermel charlo uplifting devin haney in this situation now in case you have not subscribed to my channel that's your fault it's a red and white button hit the subscribe button but basically, I went over all of this stuff and Devin Haney is enthralled in this back and forth banter with the ring and ring TV and ring magazine. How it all stems is ring decided to exclude Devin Haney from the conversation and in their top 10 all weights list for pound for pound, they excluded Devin Haney. Devin Haney took to a social media and says, yo, I'm the youngest undisputed champ of the four belt era, and I'm not on the pound for pound list. That's crazy, especially when guys who don't even hold the ring magazine belt currently made the list. Get the out of here. Canelo voice, right? He says email champ mentality, obviously being facetious. But then he went on and basically stated that he was willing to vacate the ring magazine belt. He says, you won't trick me out of my spot, right? So he just sounds flabbergasted. But then it escalated because you have Ring Magazine chief and editor, and he starts saying, hey, send us the belt back. If you don't want the belt, send it back. So he said, the Ring Magazine could keep their belt. You won't see me with it before or after this fight, which is, if you're a champion, that is completely your choice if you want to do photo ops and stuff with someone's belt, you know, you earned it, you won it, it's your belt, you know what I mean, so at the end of the day, no one beat you, you know, you followed and abide by, you know, whatever rules that allowed you to have the belt, you haven't failed a PED test, for example, or anything that would cost you the belt, and Ring Magazine said, then mail it back to us, champ, right, and he says, no problem. DM me the address and I'll have it sent out. Right. And it just this whole thing continued to escalate, continued to escalate. Devin Haney, he also posted this and he says, and to be clear, I'm not obligated to wear the ring magazine belt. If I earned it, then I earned it. Rather, I wear it or not, whether I wear it or not, basically. So to ask for it back just shows y'all they never wanted me to have it in the first place, which is exactly what I said. Ego Stradama strikes again. The fact that you have Ring Magazine who didn't rate Devin Haney in the top 10, as you guys can see, that's one issue. They rated Jamel Charlo, who just responded as I went over, responded. They rate him towards the back. And he has, look at this picture. The picture just looks crazy because you have Jermail Charlo, who is clearly the king of the hill at 154. And this picture speaks volumes. His trainers even has a champion shirt. And he has all these belts. Then he set the record straight by knocking out Castano. And you got Jermail Charlo, a black fighter from Houston, Texas, rated at number nine. But somehow, some way, Lomachenko has a picture of a ring magazine belt that he has not held 
since at least the Teofimo loss, which was a couple years ago. And they got a picture of Lomachenko smiling with the Ring magazine, even though he's currently beltless at lightweight. And he's a couple paces, a couple steps ahead of Jamel Charlo. I mean, you tell me what is wrong with this picture. One, it's false advertising. Lomachenko, they got him catfishing with a belt he doesn't have. He's not the champion right now. Furthermore, why is he in front of Jamel Charlo, who everybody, including old media, they praise Jamel Charlo. They insult Jamal Charlo and praise Jamel Charlo for his tenacity, his durability, and his willingness to win. Jamel Charlo has one loss. Lomachenko has two losses. Jamel Charlo's one loss, he didn't lose bad. Some people even thought that he won, and that was Tony Harrison. And guess what? Regardless of who you had winning the Tony Harrison fight, he set the record straight by doing an immediate run back, or it was supposed to be immediate, but Tony Harrison pulled out with some kind of ankle injury or back injury or whatever it was. And he ended up knocking out Jorge Cota, who Fundora later fought and knocked out. And then he fought swiftly after that. He fought Tony Harrison and knocked him out, knocked him down, I think, three times. I was at the fight in Ontario, California, and he avenged that. Same thing with Castano. The first fight was a draw. Some people weren't OK with that. Doesn't matter. He did an immediate rematch and he knocked out Castano. Castano, to my knowledge, had never even been knocked down, let alone knocked out. And he violently knocked him out. So how is he behind Lomachenko? You know? Because Lomachenko has the complexion for the protection. Canelo is number five, and he's coming off of a loss to Bevel. So, I mean, we can look at this in multitudes of ways. Like, even Dimitri Bevo. I like Bevo. I don't mind him being on the list. But how is he a couple stages ahead of Jermail Charlo? Just explain that. Because he beat Canelo. And then they complained and said Canelo was too small. Old media said Canelo was too small and he shouldn't have been at 175 despite Canelo being a champion. So which one is it? How are these people voting? Either you have excuses for why Canelo lost to Bevo or you're going to rank Bevo off of beating Canelo. It can't be one and the same. Josh Taylor. Josh Taylor, many people believe he did not win his last fight against Jack Catterall, which is why he has to rematch him. And he's no longer undisputed because he lost his belts. So how is he ahead of Jermail Charlo, let alone Devin Haney? I mean, we can do this all day. I'm the best in the business. I'm the best at boxing ever seen. And you got Lomachenko who, look at his record. He doesn't even have 20 fights. And he's 16 and 2. He lost to Salido who has like 12 losses or something. And he lost to Teofimo. Unlike this black fighter, Jermail Charlo, who avenged all of his close fights or losses, Tony Harrison and also the Castano fight. Lomachenko has two losses and he hasn't avenged either one of them, Salido or Teofimo. And he has less fights. Jermail Charlo has 35 one and one record. And the one and the one, again, he avenged by knockout. So this guy has almost 40 fights. He has more knockouts than Lomachenko has fights but he's somehow behind Lomachenko. Then you have Devin Haney, and Devin Haney is the undisputed fighter that actually has the Ring Magazine belt, currently enthralled in this argument of possibly saying they can keep their belt or mail in the belt back, right? And they got a picture of Lomachenko with the belt and telling him that he's better than Devin Haney or he should be ranked higher. I mean, none of this stuff makes sense, and you know it. Subscribe to the channel and let me know what you think it is with Ring Magazine. But you went from the, if that's the Bible of boxing, then I'm atheist because you know it doesn't make sense. It's blasphemy. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. I am the best in the business. SLC, subscribe, like, and comment. And I'm out. Introducing Super Thanks. Right here on the official Boxing Ego YouTube. Super Thanks allows you, the viewers, to show a little bit of extra gratitude, which enables me as a full-time content creator to push out the content you need in the world of boxing. Underneath all the videos, you will see a heart with the dollar sign in it. You can enter any amount that you find suitable as a Super Thanks. A brand new interactive and colorful way to get your comments highlighted and noticed by not only myself, but other people on the YouTube platform. Super thanks, a unique and cool way 
to show and applaud us full-time content creators. Hopefully you guys enjoy the content. Super thanks. The future is now. The Hibernation Fives by Kenichi Bear. Hybrid gaming and lifestyle headphones. Out of the box, you can connect to any console or PC. Bluetooth ready with a low latency USB adapter, color RGB, and extreme bass mode. The Hibernation Fives adjust to you. Whether you need a gaming, travel, gym or lifestyle headphones, the Hibernations got you covered. The new Hibernation Fives, link in the description. Customize the way you hear the world. Welcome to the nation.